Hey everybody, we're over at the milling machine today and uh, today I'm going to uh, rebush a brake pedal off a Willys CJ5. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of times uh, you'll hear guys going down a the road, they'll put the brake on and you'll hear the the pedal rub against the body and make a big squeaking noise. Uh, the pedals just ride on a steel shaft okay and that just wears out the shaft wears out the pedal wears out next thing you know that thing is shucking around like this um, and the pedal that goes on there is, is hitting the body and it's squeaking and uh, it's just it, it's real sloppy every time you go to put the brake on it's real sloppy this gets severely worn um, the one that I have that I'm doing right now was uh, on one side was 43 thousandths bigger so it was an inch 043 and the other side was an inch 032 so it didn't even wear even and the pedal was starting to curve you know starting to just slide right over to one side uh, <clears throat> you can get a new pedal it's not a big deal uh, they're all I haven't found any good pedals uh, they're all coming from God knows where overseas somewhere uh, if you could find a new old stock one, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I've taken some of the new ones, and just as a test, I would take it from, you know, bench height, drop it on the floor, and, and I've actually broken them before. Uh, I do not trust um, overseas junk when it comes to a brake pedal. Uh, your brake pedal breaks when you put the brakes on, and, and you've got problems. Um, you just got to steer your way out of a bad situation. Um... But you can fix this. You can put a bushing in there. And um, on this CJ5 that I'm doing, uh, you know, 66 that I'm working on, I'm going to build a whole um, clutch linkage for that. Uh, you saw me, hey guys that follow the channel, I did a, a real extensive clutch linkage on that snowblower Jeep. I'm going to do another one on this one. Um, I'm building a new shaft for the brake pedal. Um, but this is what's going to, that's an oil light bushing. Uh, this is a, um, it, there, there's a lot of different kinds of oil light bushings. Uh, don't just grab the first one you see. This is a uh, high strength one. Uh, still impregnated with oil, it'll, it'll be fine. And we're, and we're going to grease it as well. And that'll go in there after we're done um, boring it. Um, so let me get cleaned up here. I'll show you the setup. I'll show you how I do it. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. Um, you know, save your comments if you tell me you should be using a different tool. You should be doing it a different way. Um, this is just works. For, it works for me. Uh, you don't have to do it my way. Um, but you know, uh, keep the comments uh, to yourself when they're kind of nasty. I've been getting a lot of bad comments from people saying they can uh, they can do things a lot different and better than me I'm getting tired of that um, I haven't seen too many rebushing videos out there so hope you guys enjoy this one and uh, we're just gonna clean it up and uh, precision bore it to one inch 125 and press the bushing in and then ream it and I'll show you how it fits on the shaft okay guys this is my setup that I use Again, you do it however you like. Uh, this is what I use. This is my rotary table. And I send an end mill down there and just step the table off a little bit at a time until I get to my desired size. Um, it works good. The setup is, is the key. This, this hole that you put in there needs to be square with the world. Uh, they're tricky to set up. The pedal has got a lot of bends and different shapes to it. Uh, make sure you get it set up um, square to your whatever you're cutting with. Uh, whether you're coming in with a boring bar, um, however you want to do it. Like I say, I use the end mill. I bring it down. I step the table. In, you could do in or out. I, I push the table in and uh, just take a little bit at a time. So we're shooting for 1 inch 125, the bushing is 1 inch 126 and a half, 
and that gives us the press fit that we need and then we'll pop a hole for the grease fitting we'll send a one inch reamer down through there and uh, we'll take it one step at a time so for now let's get the uh, milling part of it done Okay guys, got the boring done, just going to unclamp it, got to have a real rigid setup if you try this, uh, you don't want that thing getting away from you. Okay, I think you can see the nice square walls that we have. I hope you can see that okay. The cut is nice and square. And it's going to keep this pedal nice and straight coming through the, through the floor. So, we're getting there. That's the first part, is getting a good square, properly sized bore in there. Okay guys, bushings pressed in, got a hole for the grease fitting, there's the grease fitting, it's a one inch reamer, and I'm just kind of taking that burr out that happened from when I drilled that hole through for the grease fitting. If you, if you size everything right, and you get just a, the right amount of press fit on that bushing, that, that one inch reamer will just glide right through there. So we'll clean out the chips, we'll put that in. And I hope you can see that okay. That is a brand new surface. Uh, again, it's oil light, so and there's a grease fitting, so there'll always be grease in there. But even if there wasn't, um, that's going to ooze oil out of it um, for its lifetime. Uh, so that's going to wear um, very nicely on that shaft. And like I say, I'm building, I'm building new shafts. I'm building. Uh, you know joints and pillow block bearings and stuff and I'll show you all that as it happens it might be a little while from now but I'll show you but uh, I did have some other brake pedals to do so I figured I would show you the process that I use uh, it works perfect every time and that will renew your brake pedal and it'll be perfect it won't slop around on you and it won't be a mess or anything we're gonna go try it on the shaft and I'll show you how it fits Okay guys, there is a piece of 1 inch 4140 material that I'm going to use for uh, my brake and clutch shaft. Uh, let's see how this fits on there. Okay, there it is. You can see there is literally no movement there. I mean, it's just a, just enough... Uh, if it was any tighter, it wouldn't move. That's just a perfect amount of play. You know, it's not moving a half or quarter inch either way. It's just a tiny little bit. And we have a perfect one inch bushing on a one inch 4140 shaft. And we'll build that into some clutch linkage. And um, obviously, the brake pedal will be on it. Um, but that's that's what that entails bushing a pedal
Um, you can do it in your home shop if you're careful. Just make sure you set up nice and square and super rigid. Otherwise, it will get away from you and you'll ruin your pedal. All right, that's all I have for you today. I uh, hope you learned a little bit of something to uh, make your Jeep a little more enjoyable. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.